Hey everybody, it's Nate and Steph from Explorers.life. We teach people how to build DIY campers. Welcome back to episode number 21 in our Ford Transit build series. In our last episode, we showed you all of our tips and tricks for wire management. And in this episode, we're going to be installing our 24 volt pneumatic air conditioner. Now let's get started. See if I can reach that. Step one, we're gonna see what's in the box. We got everything unpacked and laid out and we checked through our packing list to make sure everything was here and here's what was here. Metal 14 by 14 trim plate, 14 by 14 foam gasket, straight foam leveling strip, the faceplate, two mounting brackets, the control panel and control panel faceplate, screws for the control panel, screws for the metal faceplate, some heat shrink, DC to DC connectors, threaded rod mounting bolts with the associated washers and nuts, some extra black vents, because I'll probably break them, the remote with the AAA batteries, and stickers, <laughs> and the actual air conditioner itself. Now that we know all of the parts are here, we're going to bench test this unit before we lug it all the way up onto the roof. To bench test it, we're just going to connect it to uh, two 100 amp hour, 12 volt battle -borne lithium batteries wired in series so that it's a 24 volt battery bank. So we're gonna make those connections and then see if it works. We got the air conditioner flipped over and Stephanie pulled the wires out of the bottom of the air conditioner. Got a little data cable there more wires for the control panel, and then the two big power wires that are actually going to deliver power to the air conditioner. So we want to connect our positive and negative wires that are going to the Lynx distributor later on in the build uh, to these two wires. So we're gonna use the butt splice connectors and crimp the butt splice connectors onto the wires there to make that connection, and then finish it off with some heat shrink. So now that everything is connected, uh, we're going to flip this air conditioner uh, right side up because I don't think you can run an air conditioner when it's upside down. Now that we have battery power connected to the air conditioner, it's time to press the on button. And it works. <laughs> so bench test is complete and I would say that it works. Uh, so now let's go cut some holes in the van and get this thing mounted up top.
We just finished cutting the hole and painting the edges for rust prevention. And the next thing we have to do is put this gasket on here. Now in the instructions for the pneumatic air conditioner, it says anywhere that there is a high spot to cut out part of the gasket. So on our transit roof, uh, there is a high spot that goes from right here all the way to over here on each side of this little channel that's on each side. Now, would it be fine to leave it? Probably, it's probably fine, uh, especially if we put some sealant on this side. You know, we'll be putting sealant all the way around the whole thing. But Stephanie wanted to try something. She wanted to use a hot knife, hot knife? Hot knife to attempt to cut out just a little bit um, for clearance. And we're sitting right at 3.5 millimeters. So we need to cut off 3.5 millimeters, this bottom part of the gasket. And Stephanie's gonna see if it's gonna work. So wish us luck. I give it a 4.6 out of 10, I think. Mostly because I'm sure this smoke has really terrible fumes in it. It's not good for me, but I think it did work. I think if I was doing it again, I'd give a shot, just uh, clamping a razor blade to this and do the same thing, but it worked and it's gotta be better than it was. Now that we got the gasket all cut to fit and it fits, pretty nicely. I know that took a little bit of time, but it gave us some time for the paint to dry. So next step is going to be pulling off these strips here where there is still double-sided adhesive left, where we didn't cut it off, and then using some uh, die core sealants to just go around the outside edges, plop it in place, and then seal around the outside edges. Now that the gasket is uh, secured and sealed down uh, with a nice bead of die core around the outside, I need to put the, um, the leveling block in the back. And so it's made out of the exact same stuff as this, but it just sits right back here and it keeps the back of the air conditioner kind of supported up uh, off of the back of the van. And since we cut this down quite a bit, uh, I'm also gonna cut this down a bit as well, but I'm just gonna use a razor blade this time and see if that works any better. So now I'm just gonna put this gasket right here where it's gonna have lots of good contact in the back. And then this is just gonna get sandwiched down in between the pressure of, you know, whenever we clamp all this down. So now that this is on there, it's actually time to move this thing up here. So we're gonna try to wrestle it up here. Got Chad here to help. So um, we'll see how it goes. So now that the air conditioner is actually up on top of the van, uh, we need to secure it to the van. And we've got this metal trim ring and it simply goes up around the perimeter of the hole. And then this trim ring gets uh, held in place by these two support brackets right here, up like that. And they get bolted into the bottom of the air conditioner with these bolts like this. Now, these only go up in there so far. And we have to put these nuts on these studs like that with a washer like this and like that all on the bottom of the air conditioner so that's what i'm going to do right now we just wrapped up securing the air conditioner actually to the van 
So we have the flat plate, the flat metal plate that actually goes onto the body of the van. And we're actually going on the outsides of both of these body ribs here. So we're actually capturing the body ribs for a little bit of extra support. The cross braces here going across and these studs are threading into the plates on the bottom of the air conditioner. And then these nuts here uh, are secure, are actually like tightening up these, uh, these cross braces. And whenever I tighten these, you don't want to tighten them too tight. They were pretty uh, adamant about that on the website. And so I was just using my wrench here and only using two fingers or so about halfway up the wrench to just snug it into place. You're just trying to compress the gasket. It doesn't really need to be torqued down a lot. And that pretty much wraps up this project. All these wires and stuff like that are gonna be connected to the Lynx distributor whenever we get to that part of the build. Same with the uh, data cables and all that kind of stuff. Well, those will be connected whenever we do the walls. So Steph is going to hop up top right now and take all of the plastic off and that's gonna wrap up this project. And that pretty much wraps up the installation of our 24 volt DC nomadic air conditioner on top of our van. Now we'll be finishing up the interior portion of the install as well as the electrical wiring and stuff like that once we get to that portion of the build. So stay tuned. If you're not sure how we got to this point in the build, be sure to click below and binge watch the rest of this playlist. And if you are all caught up, Click here to watch the next video in the episode where we're going to install the Max Air Fan in front of this air conditioner. See you next video.